guys, welcome to a windy day here on the farm. You join me with the John Deere and the Pottinger on the back. And I'm here starting to cultivate the two fields, two fields on the farm for spring barley. There's another one as well for spring barley, which is going to be the letterbox field, which was cultivated by Bartlett's. So hopefully behind me, you can just see that I've started to cultivate with the GPS on the tractor, the Green Star uh, system, the, the receiver and I've just been cultivating a few strips here. So all we're trying to do here is level out where the potatoes have been and prepare this field so that it can be ploughed and then uh, drilled with spring barley, which will be next week. The spring barley seed has arrived, so we're now almost ready to start drilling the spring barley, but this field's got to be prepared and also top field as well. So now it's all set up, I'll just show you what sort of job we're doing with the cultivator. All we're trying to do, like I said, is just level out the ground with the pottinger. Hopefully you can just see down below. We're not going very deep at all. Um, probably only about two or three inches, not even that, and just breaking up the sand, just breaking up the soil, and just leveling it out from the potatoes. Hopefully I can resume from yesterday's work on the Starfire system, and then I'll get the drone going as well once I've got the uh, tractor driving itself. The John Deere's been busy moving muck, as you can probably tell from the, the pretty dirty windscreen and bonnet. I do need to give it a, a, a better clean. I just cleaned the outside for today's video. But if we just look down below on the right hand sides, if I go onto my menu, I can go onto applications, auto track guidance, and it's, it's remembered where we started doing the work yesterday. So if you just look to the left, there's our stripes where we started yesterday. And then on the computer screen, hopefully you guys can just pick up where the cultivator's been and then we can just resume back to normal. So I've got my command arm here and if you just press the auto steer button, it will lock on to where we've been. But to do that, I've just got to make sure that the GPS is turned on and it's configured. I've now enabled auto track. Okay, so if we just go into iTech quickly, which is this one here, and if I put on, it will then resume the buttons for lifting up and setting the revs for the cultivator. So that's all set up now. So if I go back into my guidance, I can now put the revs to flat out and then they will then sit back down and then I can scroll back on the wheel to set my speed. So I'm now just going to go forwards, pressing the iTech button, number two, down we go. And we're away, we're cultivating people. We are cultivating. So we're all set up. And I can just simply put the steering wheel up like that. And I'm just gonna eat my lunch actually now, so lovely. Nice, nice job it's doing at the back. I don't want the discs and the packer doing too much work. I just want to be leveling out the ground. I set the cultivator up yesterday for this ground. I had to adjust the top link quite a bit. I had to bring it in the top link quite a lot actually to make, make the points dig into the ground. And as you can see guys, it's so nice when it's all set up properly. Got a bit of tuna pasta made by myself last night. <laughs> oh, GPS farming is just just the way to go, really, isn't it? You can see what you've got behind you. You don't have to worry about steering. Just lovely. Got the birds behind me. Well, 2020. Well, welcome to the 21st century, huh? Lovely. Well, so far we've managed to cultivate almost all of the field, but we've got to go back now over our rows. So we've got the middle lanes, which I've missed out, and I'm just going to go back and fill the blanks in to the other side, and then I'll just have the headlands to do to then finish off the field. Okay, so it's time for the, put the lights on there again. So now just finishing off this field. I've just finished going up, up and down the, the gaps which I've missed it, which I filled in. And I've now, I've now just come to the edge of the field and I'm just doing the headlands. 
hopefully you guys can just see finishing them off by hand and unfortunately there's been quite a few areas just on the headlands which are a bit flooded but a uh, few little puddles um, but not as bad as some farmers I know from other parts of the country but yeah there are quite a few puddles you could almost do with a subsoiler to rip through them or a uh, something like a McConnell shakerator but but I'll just like I'll just lightly go through the edges won't put the tractor too near them um, because I don't want to mess the field up just started to chuck it down we've just got quite a bit of rain which has just come in so I'm probably just going to do these last few rows here and then I'll just call it a night take the John Deere back to the shed and then if it's dry tomorrow afternoon I'll hopefully try and get the rest of this field done and then top field as well um, I think we've got quite a bit of rain just coming in this evening and there might be something tomorrow morning as well so I'll just get these last few rows done and then we'll be finished for the night and there we go we are now back at Ollie's Farm HQ there we go back into the shed we've got the feeder better Ken M135 ready for our restoration that's the uh, the barley seed there which we had delivered this week for planting the spring barley so I'm going to pop the pot and go back in her place drop her off and then it'll be time to put this loader on no smash mirrors please <laughs> already smashed one on the right hand side and AgriLine have kindly sent me a new one. Off the arms go, hopefully. Might have to drive her forward a bit. Ah, there we go. Just have to drive it forward to get the arms to come down. And there we go. Certainly shined up the blades. And now it's time to go and pick up the front loader. So here we go, guys. Oh, should probably turn the windscreen wiper off in the shed. <laughs> so as you can see in front, we still haven't moved the rest of this soil out. I'm just waiting to get a tally handler. And then we can cart it all out of here. So when I pick the loader up now, just drive in like that. Make sure both sides are equal and then turn the tractor off put the ignition on Ooh, release the pressure so just turn back on and then all we've got to do is use the joystick to just rotate the bucket a bit to get the brackets in the position which we need and then they'll just click in hopefully like so and there we go they're both clicked in just going to put up the stands and there we go that is the front loader put back on. I've just got to go and find the feeder bucket to feed the cattle in the morning. We can just line this up, this feeder bucket here. There we go, picked up. Wee. All ready now to go and feed the cattle in the morning. Perfect. And there we go guys, thank you so much for watching. I've now got the fodder beet bucket ready on for the morning. Hopefully you guys can just see there. So we're all ready to rock and roll. Pretty handy having this tractor. We can do all the land work, the farm work, and then also feeding the cows with the front loader, all of the loader work as well, which is, which is turning out to be really good. Yeah, it's all going really, really well. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for plenty more upcoming content, including the delivery of the shorthorn cattle. Also as well, I'll be finishing off the rest of the cultivating this week, and then we will be drilling the spring barley. And also as well, later on in the week, I will be muck spreading the muck on the farm, ready for getting the sugar beet in the ground. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and tap the little bells so that you can be notified when there's a new video from Molly's Farm. I'm now gonna go and get my dinner and I'll catch you guys on the next one.